Hello, welcome, Diablo here, and this week I am bringing you my Game Week 4 predictions for the Premier League. So, how do we do in Game Week 3? Honestly, let's not talk about it. It was atrocious. Literally every result went against me. So, out of the 10 games, I got 2 correct and 8 wrong. Who let me down? The Premier League. But what I will say is, what a fantastic week of football. This is why I love foot not just football, but the Premier League so much, because it's, who can predict this stuff? Who foresaw Palace battering Villa, Forest getting a draw, Fulham beating Brentford, Southampton beating Leicester? I honestly didn't expect that at all. I thought that would be a draw. We all thought Arsenal would win. They did. Leeds battering Chelsea 3-0. Phenomenal. Brighton beating West Ham. Again, West Ham did not look up for the game. There's something not quite right there at this moment in time. And Newcastle, 3-1 up, settled for the 3-3 draw, but did not see that coming at all. Really thought City would, you know, win. 2-1, 3-1. And then, of course, the Monday night football, a totally different Manchester United side coming out and battering Liverpool. The score was 2-1. Let's be honest, the game didn't really reflect it overall. Liverpool were atrocious. Absolutely, it's, it's quite nice to be able to say they were shambolic and this time it wasn't Manchester United because they have been shambolic for the first two opening weeks. And it makes you look at the league table and it's just... You can't even tell if it's upside down or left to right, mixed in the middle. It's just monumental. Chelsea in 12th, United in 14th, Liverpool in 16th, West Ham bottom, Leicester in 19th, Wolves 18th. It's absolutely mad when you see Leeds sitting third, Brighton fifth, Fulham seventh. I had them bang to go down, but obviously there's still a long way to go. Nonetheless, let's get into this week's predictions. So this week we have a 12.30 kickoff, which of course is Southampton against Manchester United. Look, I'm going on the bandwagon. United are going to win this one. And I think it's going to be a convincing game. 2-1. <laughs> I'm not going to predict the scoreline, but I think it'll be a convincing. If they if they play the same way they did against Liverpool, without a shadow of a doubt, they will beat Southampton. Next up, Brentford against Everton. I'm going Brentford. I fancy them to bounce back after the uh, Fulham result. They came back from two goals against Leicester. They then smashed United 4-0. They came back from two down against Fulham. They've got resilience it was unlucky to concede the 90th minute goal. That's football though, that's the joy of football, but I, I still fancy them to do Everton. Brighton leads. For me, this is going to be a close game. I thought it was going to be, going into this week, I'll be honest, I would have said Brighton all, all day long, but the way Brighton played against West Ham, the way Leeds played against Chelsea, draw written all over it, thankfully. Chelsea Leicester, Chelsea have got to bounce back and bounce back fast, especially at Stamford Bridge, so I'm going for Chelsea. Liverpool, Bournemouth. This is where I think we might see Liverpool wake up. Bournemouth could be on the back of a right hiding here. Probably a one niller, but a right hiding. City Palace. As good as Palace have been, City are winning this one. The 5.30 kickoff, I'm personally looking forward to watching this for sure. Arsenal, Fulham. Got to be honest, I can't see Arsenal losing. It's going to be a really close and tight game. If it was the opposite way around and at Fulham, I might have bottled it and gone for a draw. But at Arsenal... I just think they've got too much for him. Gabriel Jesus is playing magnificently. Udegaard is playing magnificently. Martinelli, uh, Arsenal at this moment in time are just class. They really are liquid. We move on to Sunday. We have Villa West Ham. This is probably going to be a draw, but West Ham have got to wake up. They have got to wake up. I'm going West Ham. Wolves, Newcastle. This is going to be an interesting game. The first half against Tottenham, Wolves were far superior. They really played some good football. Tottenham actually in that first half looked like something out of The Walking Dead, like a bunch of zombies. Atrocious first half statistics. I think the goal to goal ratio prospect was something like 0.06. I and mean, then in the second half it was like 1.68. Totally, it literally is Frankenstein. Unbelievable how bad Spurs were in that first half. They were lucky to get away with it, but they nicked it. Thankfully they did, otherwise... Uh, my last week's results were really even worse than 8-2. and two. But there you go. For this one, Wolves-Newcastle, I'm going to call a draw. And the final game, Forest-Spurs. Look, this is where I want to say Forest, because it's at Forest. I don't think it's going to be a draw. Spurs need the win. This, again, this is the sort of game that Spurs need to win to back up my theory of them finishing third in the Premier League. Otherwise, they've got no chance. They drop points against Forest. Look, they've done well against Chelsea in the end. They played atrociously. They got away with a draw. They played bad against Wolves. They got away with a win. They need to put in a bit of a performance. Get the win. Yeah, I'm going to go Spurs. I just, I don't know. I'm very doubtful on that one. Um, at this moment in time, as it stands, I'm doubtful on all my 
predictions, but I'm going to go Spurs. So there we have it. That's the predictions for game week four. Let me know yours down in the comment section below. Hopefully you're enjoying my shambolic attempt at predicting who's going to win what game. Not doing very well at the moment. I think overall I am 12 and 18. Not good. Anyway, as normal, I will catch you next time.